Hi, this is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles, and today we're going to be identifying collectible glassware from the 40s to the 70s. So I was in the Depression Glass Club years ago, so I'm going to try to identify as many of these patterns as I can so that you'll know what you're seeing when you go to antique malls. And we are at Mommy Antique Mall and at Plaza Antique Mall for the most part of all these pictures. This first pattern is called Blue Bubble. It's by Anchor Hocking. It's from the 1940s to 1965. And in the back is also King's Crown which was from the 19, late 1800s to 1970. And this pattern, um, you name this more by the color than the pattern, and we call this Capri. So Capri has lots of different patterns within it. So there was one bowl. This is a chip and dip set, actually, and there's supposed to be a little um, um, gold brass thing to hold that small bowl. And here's an oblong dish that we also call Capri. And here's more, one more piece in the bottom. And I believe that some people call this dot also. But we refer to it as Capri. Now this pattern is um, uh, the same as the Capri pattern, but it's in green. So that's a little bit different one. Now the green creamer here is uh, called Patrician and it's by the Federal Glass Company 1933 to 1943 and that's a depression glass piece along with the black optic there in yellow and this is considered um, an elegant glassware piece of the depression era. So I wouldn't call these collectible glasses from the 40s and 70s but they happen to be in that that genre of uh, glassware. This is called coin glass. It was made by Fostoria and this is called Canterbury, which is considered one of the elegant depressions of the of, of uh, the elegant depression glass patterns. And there is um, a Fenton group hobnail, and this is jadeite. And jadeite, um, a lot of the jadeite is made by Fire King. So this is a set of bowls, kitchenware bowls. And it was made by the Anchor Hawking Company. Beautiful glassware. Very popular these days. And here's another piece of uh, jadeite. And this is called the Jane Ray pattern. It's a dinnerware set. And if you look on the bottom, they're all marked Fire King. Which makes it very easy to identify when you're looking at this glassware. Um, this is another piece of uh, Fire King. And uh, there are some reproductions of Jada. you got to be kind of careful, but the original stuff says Fire King on the bottom, and it's pretty clear. So make sure you look for that. You can see it there very clearly. Now here is um, also some Jadeite cups. And they're clearly marked on the bottom, Fire King. They've gotten quite valuable these days, as you can see. They're over $20 a piece. Very popular with people. And here's some more Fire King bowls with a tulip pattern on there. And if I'm uh, mentioning the wrong name, please feel free to correct me in the comments. I'm uh, going off of my memory from years ago, so I'm doing the best I can here. At least it gives you an idea of what you're looking at. Uh, I believe this is Fire King 2. But a different pattern that I have never seen. And if I'm wrong in that one, like I said, please correct me. And the white set of dishes is called... Um, there's some depression glass there, but the white set of dishes right next to it's called Golden Anniversary Dinnerware, and that was also made by the Fire King Company. And these uh, cups and saucers with the little blue flowers are also Fire King. So Fire King made a wide assortment of objects, but like I said, they marked their pieces very clearly, so it made it very easy to find and collect those. And this is Fire King also. It's the same shape as the jadeite mugs we were showing you, but it also comes in iridescent. 
Not quite as valuable as the Jadeite, but still very nice. And here's another one a set that I had in my booth. And you can see the bottom there, how it's clearly marked. Now this little piece here is called Floral Gold. It's from the Jeanette Glass Company from the 1950s. And there's a little piece of Fenton there. And these also are Fire King and they've actually painted a pattern onto them. Now, I'm not sure if that pattern was painted on the factory. I believe this pattern was painted at the factory. The uh, pink flowers, I'm not sure. So if you know, put it in the comments. This also is a piece of uh, Fire King. Bulls. And now we have some Royal Ruby and some Forest Green made by the Anchor Hawking Company from the 1950s to the 1960s. And here's a piece of elegant depression glass. And here's another piece of forest green. It comes in a wide assortment of shapes, but you can always tell by the color of it. And here's a little piece of depression glass down here. It's called the U.S. Swirl by U.S. Glass Company from the 1920s, late 1920s. And if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe to us get notifications now this is a bowl that um i am not sure on the pattern of this but i know it was in the same era as the forest green and it is the forest green color so it's a nice little mixing bowl and here's a beautiful set of uh, a children's wear of diana and this is depression glass pattern it was made by a federal glass company from 1937 to 1941 And this is called the ship pattern. And this is actually depression glass, not so much the collectible glass from the 40s and 60s. It's a little bit older. Depression glassware was made a little older than what we're typically covering today. And I call all of these swanky swigs, but I think the official swanky swigs was one from one, uh, the Kraft Cheese Company. But I call that that. So that's from a uh, jelly jar of some sort. And there's a nice piece of Capri again. This is a great collectible glass. Where to get? And here's another piece of Royal Ruby. They made some sugar and creamers. They made a, a huge assortment of items. And this is called Candlewick. And this was considered elegant glassware that they made during the Depression era. And here's another piece of uh, the Royal Ruby. A glass set. This piece is called Diamond Point. It's a beautiful piece of glassware. It looks similar to King's Crown. And in the back there, we have Iris. It's from the Jeanette Glass Company from 1928 to 1970s. Boy, they made that pattern a long time. And here's a piece of elegant uh, glassware from the Depression era, but also in front of it is called Moonstone. It's by the Anchor Hawking Company from 1941 to 1946. And here's some various other elegant pieces from the Depression era. And this is a piece of Cherry Blossom by the Jeanette Glass Company from 1930 to 1939. That is Depression Glass. And this is also depression glass, which is a little bit earlier than what our main topic is today. And that's a piece of Diana, like that child set we just saw. I was kind of picking up all kinds of glass pieces to inform you what kind they were. This is Manhattan. It's by the Anchor Hawking Glass Company. It's from 1938 to 1943. It also comes in clear. 
kind of that art deco-y kind of pattern. And those sherbets you're seeing are called Miss America. They're by the Hocking Glass Company, and they are a piece of Depression glassware from 1935 to 1938 they were made. So we're kind of going over a lot of them. This one's called Coronation. It's by the Hocking Glass Company from 1930s to the 1940s. And here's some more green Depression glass. And underneath here, we're going to see, um, it's called Sunflower. It's by the Jeanette Glass Company, and it's from the 1930s. So as you can see, we're kind of going through some of the Depression glassware. Just because our, our taping, we kind of included some of that. Now, I'm going to try to have a separate uh, Depression glass one YouTube coming up. So here's some more of that iris. And this is a good note to know. This is called Boopy. It's by Anchor Hocking. It looks very similar to the elegant glassware of uh, Candlewick. So I wanted to show that to you because that's more from the 40s. And as you can see on the, on the top there, there's a bowl. It's called Lariat. And that's elegant glassware from the Depression era by Heisey. And there's some more Manhattan. And there is lids, they're Fire King lids for some of the ovenware that that arrow was pointing toward, pointing towards. Here's some more candlewick, just so you can see the difference between the boopy and the candlewick. And in the back there, we have an iris candlestick next to a candlewick candlestick. So the iris is a little bit newer. The candle wick was from the Depression era. And here's a beautiful jadeite piece of kitchenware. And this is called King's Crown. And it was made from the late 1800s to the 1970s. There's some more royal ruby. And this is what the candlewick glass looks like compared to the boopy. It's much more finer than the boopy. The boopy um, has uh, some seam lines and it's heavier. So the uh, the elegant glassware from the Depression era is much finer and it's much lighter um, than uh, a lot of the Depression glass. And here's some more of the King's Crown. And this is called Marigold and it's by the Jeanette Glass Company. Here's another piece of candlewick to kind of show you the difference between the elegant glassware and the boopy. And right next to it, we have a piece of Moon and Stars from the 1960s. This comes in a huge range of colors. And this pattern here is called Moonstone. It's by the Anchor Hocking Company, and it was made around the 1940s. Here's more Moon and Stars. There's actually groups out there that have that are Moon Star collectors. I can remember when I was at a mall years ago, there was a busload of people that came that were Moon and Star collectors, and they came and they wiped out the whole ball from Moon and Stars. And there's another piece there. So this has come become very collectible. And here's a little toothbuck holder of the same pattern. Now this gets confusing. I wanted to show these and they actually had the label on them. People think this is Royal Ruby, but it's called Luminarc glass and it's from France. So that is not Royal Ruby. That's another type of glassware. And here's another piece of Moon and Stars. As you can see, it comes in lots of different colors. And here's a nice piece of Royal Ruby that actually has the original label on it. How cool is that? 
Well, we know that's the name. Certainly makes things easier when I'm trying to identify glassware. And here's a piece of moonstone in my booth. Very pretty. And this is also a piece of moonst uh, moonstone. It's a candle holder that I had in my booth. And this is a piece of Mayfair Open Rose. It's by the Anchor Hocking Glass Company from 1931 to 37. That's actually a piece of depression glass. There's some more moonstone. And here's a nice set of depression ware mixing bowls. Here's some more moonstone that I actually had in my booth again. And this is called Moroccan Amethyst. It's kind of like a purple glassware. Beautiful. I have a set of this actually in my booth that I'm selling. And there's some other depression glass patterns around here. Here's the set of Moroccan amethyst that I actually have in my booth right now. It was my personal set and I decided I probably didn't need five sets of glassware. So I'm starting to sell off some of this stuff. Nice set. Took me a long time to get all those pieces. And this is called Paneled Grape. It's by the Westmoreland Company from 1950s to 1970s. This particular piece was a huge find because I've never seen it in this jadeite color. So, of course, that was sold very quickly. Typically, it's in white. Beautiful. And here's another piece of the paneled grape. Um, that one there. Now, the one to the right of it is a paneled grape type of pattern, but the Westmoreland one is much thicker and more um, not so opaque. So you definitely want to try to get the Westmoreland version of it. It's much better. And here's um, some more pieces with a sugar and another vase, like the green one I showed you. The green is very hard to find. Very rare. At least in my travels. And here's another piece of Royal Ruby, but it's actually in the bubble pattern. Just like our blue set in the very beginning of this YouTube. And here's a piece of sandwich glass. And sandwich glass was made by about three different companies. So um, it's kind of hard to tell which company is which. It's good to have a, a good reference book to determine it. And here's some more sandwich glass. Not the saucers, but the cups on top. The saucers actually don't go with those cups. And the sandwich glass came also in clear. But here it is in amber. And this piece here is called Silver Crust. It's by the Fenton Glass Company. And um, they started making this in 1943. And we still see quite a lot of it out there. Here's another piece. And this also was made with the different colors on the edging. Here's a piece of the Silver Crust with the pink on the top. I believe they made it in turquoise also, among other colors. And this piece is called Heritage. It's by the Federal Glass Company from 1940 to 1955. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Bye, folks.